Welcome Virgo. My name is Renee and this message is for you for the second half of November. I'm filming this message for you on 1111 which are angel numbers. So if you're not sure what 1111 means, make sure to Google it. They're very angelic numbers. Okay, we have meditation for peace and serenity. I don't think I've ever got that card before. Hmm. And we have healing waters. At the bottom of the deck, we have inspiration and courage. So yeah, you might be healing at this time, Virgo. Let's see. What messages do we have for Virgo? Give me some cards for Virgo, please. We have take a deep breath. And we have a rose's kiss. Number nine. So we have seven and nine. They may be significant for you. At the bottom we have a burst of magic. Let's get some advice from our angels. Some advice from our angels. Okay, we have Ray. Yoga and exercise are essential to your well-being, peace of mind, and spiritual growth right now. Yeah, that goes right along with uh, meditation for peace and serenity. Yeah, so maybe you should take time to really dwell in solitude at the moment. That's what I want to say. Dwell in solitude and... Take time to relax, rejuvenate, and center yourself. Okay, and we also have Francesca. What do you desire right now? Visualize it and it will come about. Negativity will block your progression. Okay. And at the bottom, we have Celeste. A happy move to a new home or a place of employment is in the works. This movement will usher in positive new energy. So you may be moving at the time. You may be moving either to a new home or um, a new job. about the situation. Let's get some tarot and get some, some answers and advice. Okay, Virgo. What messages do we have for Virgo for the second half of November? That's a bunch of cards. See, we have the Fool. We have the Emperor. We have the Two of Cups. We have the Five of Wands. Let's get some more 
tarot for Virgo. Spirit, what messages do we have for Virgo, please? What messages do we have for Virgo? Okay, we have the judgment. We have the Empress. Okay, how many major arcana can you pull? But we do have two counterparts. We have the Empress and the Emperor. We also have the Two of Cups. We have the Page of Wands. And we have the Justice card. Okay. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Five of Cups. So I feel like you've gone through some disappointments, Virgo. I feel like you have... What this Five of Cups is making me feel like is that you're being pulled into two directions. You are... If this is a job situation, I feel like you're being pulled by either staying or leaving. I, I feel like you see this as a new beginning, a new journey, but you're reluctant to... make a final decision but I feel like once you do make the final decision Virgo now this could be in love as well because you do have the Empress and the Emperor so I, I feel like this could be you also have the two of cups in this reading so this very well could be love. Maybe you're moving to a new place, but you're kind of having second thoughts of leaving your old place. Are you thinking about moving in with your love? But you feel like it's going to bring you conflict. You feel like it may not work out. But I, I feel like this person that, that you're dealing with, if this is a person or if this is a job, this could go either way, actually, um, because you have all of these major arcanas. This could be something very... This could be your dream job. If this is about a job, this is your dream job. And you've received word, or you will receive word very shortly. I feel like this gives you an opportunity to start a brand new venture, a brand new creative idea. And you're kind of torn. Maybe there's someone at your job, at your current job, that's kind of holding you. Very interesting, Virgo. I feel like if this is love, I feel like you're just imagining what conflicts could happen. But I, I feel like you know the truth of the situation. I feel like nothing's going to come of it. 
I feel like you have to make a move. Overall, Virgo, I feel like this is a very this is a very good reading. This is not this is not a bad reading at all. I feel like this is very very good. You have the fool, you have the judgment, you have the emperor, empress. You have the justice card. You have the two of cups. So whatever it is, it's something that you have a lot of feelings into. This is something that you get a lot of joy from. That's what I'm feeling. I feel like you have put a lot of effort into this situation. With this, this could be a marriage. If you aren't already married or if you aren't looking for love, then this is definitely about the, the workplace. Because wands definitely deal with your work life. But I'm, with the emperor and the empress here, I feel like this is a new beginning, a new journey, something that gives new birth, a renewal, something that is changing your life is what I'm feeling. Okay, let's get some clarity on this um, spirit. And we have some cards to clarify this. With the full, we have the Six of Pentacles. So I feel like with this situation, you have you have to take a risk. I feel like whatever this is, this person wants to give you. You have to take a risk to receive it. But I feel like whoever this person is, they're, they're very respectful. And I feel like it causes you to feel abundant and renewed. With the Judgment card, we have the Nine of Cups. So yeah, this is, this is something that maybe you've been dreaming about for a very long time. This is something that is gonna bring you a lot of fulfillment and joy. What is this Emperor? Three of Cups. I feel like this emperor, now usually with the emperor, he's in total control. But I feel like with this emperor, I feel like he's very supportive. I feel like he's there to support your needs. And I feel like you're celebrating him or celebrating her, uh, the emperor, I mean, whatever you choose to place the gender on. With the, the empress, you have the nine of wands. So now I'm just feeling like this empress is your energy. And I feel like you're You're pushing on, but you feel like you're so close to making a decision. With the Two of Cups, why do 
I feel like you want to run away? Are you going to run away and get married? Virgo, are you eloping? Is this something that you are... I feel like you're running away from the situation. I feel like you are running away with your love. Hmm. With the Page of Wands, you have the Eight of Pentacles. Very interesting. Virgo, you are... Whatever this communication is with this page of wands, whatever this communication is, I feel like you're working for it. If this is love, I feel like maybe this person has been sexting, sexting you. Wow. Okay. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm getting some really fiery thoughts and images, Virgo. But I feel I feel like whatever it is that's going on in these messages this person is sending you, I feel like you are totally enjoying it. I feel like you are <laughs> mastering the situation, should I say? With this Five of Wands, what is this Five of Wands? The Judgment. Okay, so you have the Judgment twice in this reading. So I feel like this person makes you feel brand new. I feel like this situation, this situation, this could also be you finding your life purpose. Whatever this is. Now, of course the messages aren't gonna resonate with everyone. And there's probably several different messages for several different people. But I'm feeling like whatever this is, you need to make a final decision. I don't know why I'm feeling that right now. But you need to make a final decision on your situation. With the Justice card, we have the Page of Swords. Okay, and at the bottom we have the Hierophant. So yeah, I... <laughs> this has so many characteristics of love. So many characteristics of love and of a relationship that's leading to marriage. If it's not, if you're not already married, I feel like it's very close. It's very close. And maybe you need to give this person your decision. I need one more card. Okay. 
Yeah, I feel like this person is going to send you a message. They're going to ask you if you've made up your mind. like you want to go slow in this situation and they want you to make up your mind you also have the temperance on the bottom and the temperance is all about patience and self-control feeling balanced but I feel like whatever your decision that you make Virgo is going to leave you feeling a release. It's going to leave you feeling like you've made the right decision. If that makes any sense. Let's get a little bit of clarity. person that you're dealing with or this situation um, if this is a person or if this is a job they've been patient with your decision I'm feeling more like this is love but this could also be work related you have self esteem I possess gifts of the soul that benefit me and others. So yeah, I, I think this person really increases the way you feel about yourself. This person is actually a positive influence on you. That's what I'm feeling. Um, I just feel like you're renewed. You also have change. Yeah, just what I said, renewed. You have change. I understand that nothing can grow or evolve without movement. And you also have indecision on the bottom. So it says, I use my intuition in all aspects of my life. Yeah, in, in order to make this change, in order to progress any further, Virgo, I feel like you definitely need to use your intuition. You also have patience on the bottom. I accept that everything happens in divine order and growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So I, I feel like in this situation, um, you are... able to make your decisions but I, I feel like whatever this is this is a beautiful transformation Virgo I think this experience is a beautiful transformation this is a beautiful progression of what was or what will be a beautiful progression of what will be. Yes. Okay. When I learn, when I lean towards love, I am led. One more, spirits. One more. And my vibes speak louder than my words. Yeah, so I feel like you're in a really good place right now. And you have at the bottom, I choose love no matter what. So I, I feel like if this is a love situation, Virgo, I feel like you're going to make the right decision. I feel like this is something that's going to 
be very beautiful for you. I feel like you have the protection from your angels. They want to guide you into the right direction. You just need to make a decision. But whatever the situation is, I feel like it's very, is going to be very fulfilling. Is going to lead you to feeling like your dreams coming true. Very beautiful reading, Virgo. Okay, if this message has resonated with you, please like and subscribe. Hit that bell so that you don't miss any further readings. Make sure to take a look at your other placements. Your sun, moon, rising for other messages. They may resonate with you more at certain times. And um, many blessings to you, Virgo. Love and light.